Hello, my name is Martin. Welcome back to another video. Where are we? <laughs> We're in my house. We're in his kitchen. Yeah. Filming the intro and the, uh, the brew time for this video. Yeah. So welcome to James's kitchen. <laughs> right, this week's video, we got a phone call. It's a bit... Normally in a video, I would like to do like some great big industrial place that's wonderful and loads of features to look yeah. at. This isn't that. Um, but we have got that sort of stuff coming up, haven't we? We have. We've got some good stuff coming up. But this isn't that. We got yeah, we got a phone call off Roy, didn't we? Got a phone call off Roy sometime in towards the end of February on a cold day. Yeah, the day had passed. <laughs> the day had passed. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like Lord of the Rings, the day had passed. <laughs> anyway, the day had passed. Yeah. We got a phone call, we've got access to an old cinema. Do you want to come down? So, it, like, we were, you were getting getting ready for bath and bed. Yeah. And I had had my tea. Of course, <laughs> I don't go out after my tea. So we said, yeah, because word had gone out that this place was accessible. I said, yeah. right, as long as we're not like scaling walls. Yeah. And dropping down through the roof, you know, from you know fifty foot up on a rope or something. I said, as long as it's easy to get in, fine. we'll go and do it. Anyway. It was fairly easy to get in. Now, like I say, normally I'd like to do some great big industrial place. This is borderline what I would normally do, but we went and filmed it, so we're going to put it out as a video. Yeah. Right, so without further ado, it's Stockport. Let's go down and take a look. Let's have a look. Okay, so this week we're in Stockport and we're looking at the Wellington Cinema, although it hasn't been a cinema for a long, long time. It's situated at the corner of Wellington Road and Higher Hillgate in Stockport. It opened on the 11th of July, 1921, and it's saying here that the first film was uh, featured Hay Foxhall in a film called Only a Mill Girl. It's got this corner entrance here, which is quite beautiful with this dome on top, typical of the way things were done quite ornate uh, back in the day. So, as I said, access was very easy, so in we go and we'll take a look around. Now, its last incarnation was a snooker hall. Uh, we're going to go upstairs, these absolutely trash stairs we'll go upstairs and we'll take a look at the upper floors and what i'm looking for is original features look at those uh, roots on the uh, on the wall there anyway let's crack on Okay, so we're starting at the top of the building. Uh, I think this would have been the circle. Obviously, they put a false floor down. Uh, there were times there were pits in the floor where your foot would have gone straight through and there were, you felt it, the carpet was holding you up. Uh, dead pigeons all over the place that must have got in and never been able to get out. Look at that. Bloody awful. And there was quite a few of them. Uh, but we're interested, like I say, trying to look for original features. Roy gets excited here. That's pretty good, that in its speed, I've got to yeah. say. You can we brought some bright torches, we're going to get some good shots of it and make use of our lighting. That's something else that we've got to capture yeah. that. When we brought me film. Wow. It's worth it just for that, isn't it? You having a game, James? So I was coming yeah, away from the sort of collapse here. Oh. Good pot to save his life. Hey? I think this. There's all that pigeon carcasses everywhere. Mm -hmm. What do you reckon it is? I think it's so small. Uh, right, so we think the projectors were up there on my shadow there. We're going to go up into the projection room in a minute and take a look around. Obviously, this would have been the circle upstairs bit. Now it's snooker, snooker tables, which has been plated over. Very dodgy floor in here, very dodgy indeed. And then back out on the staircase, look at those windows. Uh, nice, they almost look stained glass, don't they? If you look at those there. And then we went to looking for um, up this sort of like dodgy metal staircase into what we think is the projection room. He's a nice yeah. husband. Is there. this a projection room? Yeah. Oh, rectifiers. 
thing is, you could have always just been by brick and just been like a paint on it. Yeah, never really Really love these. Proper vintage, aren't they? Reminiscent of uh, Frankenstein's laboratory to me, but <laughs> that's the way I think. And then as we look round, unfortunately the projectors have long since gone. Um, we weren't sure. They would have probably been here, and we weren't sure whether that was some, some kind of amplifier system, sound system. We're not sure. Um, but Projectors through there. Yeah. Uh, we think some kind of amplifier for the sound. Yep. And then so. uh, projected projection rigged up to there, and then that would have gone through. Let's see if we can open it. Now it's pretty rusted. That it ain't moving. Unfortunately. There you go, back down there. Now, I'm stood on one of the tables here. I remember as a kid going in the cinema in my local town and looking up at the ceiling, gazing up at the ceiling at these big sort of grills and wondering what they were and what was up there. Um, air conditioning. Um, you can just about make out what I'm trying to show you there. And then the, the original features, like I say, all the plaster work is really absolutely lovely. Um, let me just turn around on this table and I'll show you uh, the plaster work because it really is uh, or the molding whatever you want to call it come on Martin get the camera up there but yeah absolutely beautiful um, proper ornate proper dates it that now obviously this place has had various incarnations over the years in 1948 the Asoldo cinema chain took over and operated it as a cinema. In 1961, Esoldo introduced Bingo for one day a week. Always the writing on the wall for these places, wasn't it, Bingo? Um, anyway, on the 31st of August 1963, it ceased operating as a cinema. Uh, the last film apparently was Hayley Mills in Pollyanna. Brew? Brew. Um, didn't want to brew there. Well, we didn't take any brewing gear because it was all last minute, weren't it? Yeah. I felt more squeamish having a brew in there than I would have done in Down a culvert to, yeah. or near a sewer. It just felt like, yeah. It was just, it was more, it was just grubby. It was all that, um, there was mold everywhere. Mold everywhere, that fur on the walls. Yeah. And it's like, can't have a brew there. Can't have a brew there. Although you were almost tempted to drink a bottle of beer that you found, weren't you? Yeah, free. Yeah, free. As long as it's free. <laughs> I was it's looking right. around seeing what was free. Yeah, what are we on? What are we eating? Right, Jaffa cake. Jaffa There's a way cake. to do it. What? Full moon. Yeah, we've, that used to be an advert. Half moon. So James has got something to show you. Come here. Come here. It's not a rat that we picked up in there. Little Timmy. James has got a puppy. Woo. <laughs> he, yeah. loves, he loves Uncle Martin. Oh, oh no, Timmy. It's just, we were trying to film before in the <laughs> living room and everything's just a million miles an hour with it. And he, he nicked a Jaffa cake, aren't oh, man? He nicked a full Jaffa cake, yeah, but obviously they can't have chocolate, so. Hello, Timmy. Little baby. Who's a big, oh, he bites, doesn't he? He does bite. How old is he? Three months. He's loud out now. Three months. And what kind of dog is he? Is it Jack Russell? Mop. Mop. <laughs> Jack Russell and a poodle. Jack Russell and a poodle is biting me. So this is Timmy. So he might come out with us if we go somewhere nice yeah. and countryside and stuff. We can do. Wow, he's biting can, me with his needle teeth. We can do Timmy cam. We'll put a webcam on his head or something. Yeah. Timmy. Bite it. <laughs> ah, ah, just bites and shits everywhere and pisses I, all I over. I took him out to yours, didn't he? And he was just shitting everywhere. Yeah. He brought him to mine and he just, first thing he did was just shit on the carpet. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> right, say hello Timmy. Hello Timmy. You can't even see his face proper because he's just because he moves at a million miles an hour, don't you? I think he needs a poo. How do you know he needs a poo? I can smell some up. Oh yeah, well go on daddy, take him out. Be good boy. So he's just took him out for a poo poo and I'm sat here and I'm going, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'd already been. <laughs> so that's Timmy. You might see him again, you might not. I wouldn't have, beautiful little doggy, lovely. I wouldn't have one guinea. <laughs> like, like having a bloody cross between a, a mad mop in the house all the time. 
Crazy mob. Anyway, we, we've had a brew. We're cracking on with this Explore. Yeah. Let's crack on with the Explore. Back to Stockport. We're going back downstairs now. Friends of the generations of people that came up here to see the latest blockbuster. And now look at the state of it. So we think it will be pulled down because it's in such a state. You can take part. <clears throat> Look how the, uh, the roots have come through. God knows where they're actually growing. Yeah, through the window there. Look at that. What's that? That was it. Hang on, I won't watch. Wow. That window's nice. What's that? Uh, so, this is horrible, this stuff here. Some kind of fungus growing. Uh, not good for your chest, that. So I'm sure it's throwing off spores. It's moving to the door like it's coming yeah. alive. What's uh, what we on? We're on Bex. Um, two years. You actually want that, don't you? Two years, I'm a bait. Okay, so the Soldo chain eventually turned this place into a full time bingo hall. Um, and it changed hands a few times. It became Labbrook's bingo in the end. At some point, it became O'Reilly's snooker hall as well. And uh, it actually closed this place in 2012. So it stood empty for just, uh, just probably going over 10 years now, hence the state that it's in. Um, now, in a bit, we're going to go down to the, uh, the basement. And I've got something quite, probably the most interesting fact about this place that I'm going to tell you. That far wall there where the torch is pointing now, I think that's where the cinema screen would have been. Um, there's some runners with the tables in here that they've left in here, haven't they? Maybe it was just more hassle to shift them out than, uh, I don't know, I don't understand it. Surely they were, they were an asset at some point, these things. I think this goes down to the basement. It smells very, very damp down here. Extremely damp. Now, going back to the early days when it was this place was built, 1921, as a cinema, um, down here in the basement, there was always, a, a, it was a billiard hall, and it was also a cafe. It says here, a 13 table tabled billiard hall and a cafe. Now, we got told to wear wellies, and, and, and it, it was a good job, really, because of this entire basement now uh, is flooded out. I think there's a pipe leaking somewhere. Um... I just can't believe they left all this gear, all these tellies and all these uh, tables. It's incredible, isn't it? Right, so here's the most interesting table. fact about this place. In 1963, a local businessman opened this basement up as a live venue, a live music venue called the Manor Lounge. Um, and they put on gigs, uh, live music. And you'll never believe the list of people that played here. Uh, incredible. So here's the list. Pink Floyd, The Hollies, Tom Jones, The Kinks, Van Morrison, The Who, Rod Stewart, Scylla Black, Lulu and Jimi Hendrix. Um, an incredible list, but of course, back in the uh, mid early 60s, these bands would have just been all been up and coming, wouldn't they? And would have been gigging all over the place. It closed as a live music venue in 1966, so it had a very brief period. Uh, but the, I think they were trying to get a blue plaque for the place at some point um, to say, like, all these, these bands have played here. Okay, moving on. Remember when I said original features? Well, just look at this thing here. This was my favourite thing, uh, an old boiler. I don't know much about it, but a cracking old boiler in the place. I love this. That's beautiful. Yeah. Proper decent boiler, that. Yeah, oily. Yeah, proper smells of oil. Can you get some light on it? Yeah. Uh, look at that. It's kind of light. the best thing in here. 
Nice bit of oil. That's all that, isn't it? That's probably not been used for a while anyway, has it? No. That is beautiful. Yeah, the make on it. The got that well, that's the makers played off it. With air on it. Now's that so now? Someone's had it off a bit, yeah. isn't there? That's beautiful. Nice. Nice. Yeah, there's some new ones in boxes if you look. And there's the tank with all the fuel in, that's why it stinks with so much in here for fuel. To me, I don't want to romanticise it too much because it is what it is. It's just an, an abandoned snooker hall. The most interesting thing about the place is that it was a, a cinema, weren't it? And we were, you know, we wanted to see original features. But it's as if ten years ago they intended to come back and they left stock here, they left the tables. It's as if it was going to reopen or somebody was planning to take it over to leave all this stuff here. That obviously after ten years has now just gone to absolutely gone to pot. Uh, I presume this is some sort of manager's room or the cashier's room. But to me, they were, uh, this is, it's like this intention that it was going to reopen to leave all this stuff behind. I don't understand. Anyway, I think the building is a grade two listed building. Obviously, quite a history to it. What will happen to it, I really don't know because it's in a terrible state of repair now. Whether it will ever reopen or not, who can tell? Right, so there you go, Stockport, the old uh, cinema in Stockport. Worth a, worth a quick look round. Yeah. I've tried to, uh, I've kept it to the minimal and it was, what was your favourite bit? I'll tell you what my favourite bit was, and I've already said it, it was the old boiler. Oh, the old boiler? Yeah, what was yours? Um, Put him on the spot now, he can't think of anything. The beer that he thought he could <laughs> drink, that he realised he couldn't actually drink. I quite like where you could see where the... When we went to the top bit, and the, like you could see where the old cinema bit was, where the screen would have been. Yeah, yeah. Where they just put like a rubbish plastic thing over the top. Yeah, dog's still going crazy. <laughs> Everything's still at a million miles an hour down here. <laughs> right, he's got. He wants to show you something. This is a picture by James's dad. Um, quite a nice painting, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. Um, and James's question to you is, where was it painted? Or where was it? What's it a painting of? We'll give you one clue. Yeah, well, we've been there before and filmed there, although we didn't go to that little bit. No. And it's, it's in, in Yorkshire. Yorkshire, West Yorkshire. Near no, more. no more. No, no, no more. No more. That should be enough. Right. It, it can't be Tough. easy. Tough. It right. can't well, be easy. A lot of people won't get it, or will they? If you don't get it, you don't get it. Oh, well. Answers down below if you know where that and is. And you can put the answer in... The comments. I'll put the answer at some point in the comments. So James's dad's quite a good painter, and you, you can sketch a bit, can't you? I can do a little bit. I always give you my, my picture. Yeah, he sketches things and gives them to you for Christmas <laughs> as if you need to, to save money. Anyway, that's it. That's the end of the video. We'll be back soon with some. <laughs> Let's push the ball round. We'll be back soon with some industrial stuff, back to our normal stuff. Thanks very much for watching. It's in a minute. Take care, we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. And from Timmy, Timmy says bye bye as well. Bye for now.